Alright guys, so I'll give you an update on this. I started out with one of these. There is a piece of the Pucky air filter. Right there. You can see it stuck in the reed. Yeah, it did not go so well. Mid, mid throttle, I was having like what most said, rich conditions. You can drill a hole in the slide. I, I'm not doing all that. So I took it off and I put a PZ19 on this originally. It was the old one I had, cleaned it out, threw it on. Thing ran like a boss. Um, did the whole break in, I think five tanks of gas. Definitely it's a cool little engine. It's slow as hell. Uh, when I did the tack on it, oh, the maximum I got was 4,300 RPM. So pretty damn close to what the goal was. So it definitely, it sounds like a Harley. It's great. <laughs> it's just, it's really cool. So this right here is a KTM 65 carb. Oh, the main jet and it's a 90, I believe. And the pilot, I have no idea. It's an air screw type one. It's kind of a weird carb. Well, this goes actually to a tube that goes to an air box and a filter. That's how these setups work. The filter doesn't go directly on it, so that's why that's smaller. But here is the main jet. <clears throat> the thing that's weird about these is the needle actually sits in the main jet. That's the seat. <laughs> so when you put it up in, the needle actually touches it. So that's a different design than some other ones. But anyways, I was having problems with the float in this. It wouldn't turn off or it wouldn't let gas in. I couldn't for the life of me figure this one out. Uh, apparently, up inside, there was actually debris from when they drilled the hole. Up inside, like moving around. Even above the valve of this. So it had nothing to do with the float even. So, anyway, so cleaned all that out. and try this again. No idea where I'm going to be at with it. Uh, the other carb, I had to put... Let me see, an 85 in, so this is a 90, so this may be a little rich, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, all in all, I had this running really nice, so I'm hoping we can get this going again and uh, get a video up here shortly. But that's where I'm at, I got a KTM 65 carb on it. So, alright. So here is the 50 millimeter stroker build that I did with a, it's a 46.5 millimeter piston in it, 50 millimeter stroke. The actual stroke to make it fit in that case, I think is 49.7 roughly. It's a little under it. It balance out pretty good. There's not a lot of vibration until you get way, way up. Um, the pucky carb sucked, so I got a 25 millimeter KTM, uh, 65 carb. It's going into a one, one inch fitting, one inch intake into the reed. And the reed goes down, I think it's, oh, 20 by 15 going into the 
block. Uh, but anyways, I got a number six plug in this. Uh, the biggest problems I'm having, um, two of them are that are major with this thing. One is I got the green pads in here. I had to put a steel disc and everything in this because I was having a lot of problems with the clutch. It'll actually smoke the green pads. So I got a full disc in there of green pads and if you give it gas, it will not grip. And no matter how tight I mean, those are as compressed as I can go. I had to upgrade the bolts even just because of that reason. So there is a lot of force on that. I mean, it's literally moving like three sheets of paper in and out. It's locked up tight. But as soon as you give it a little gas, like you have to let this idle so it grabs the clutch and let it roll a little before you turn it. So, here, here's the other biggest freaking problem I'm having. It's kind of disappointing in a way. Alright. Uh, so, I had two major malfunctions too. This pipe, by the way, beautiful. It matched so nice to this motor. I know a lot of people were like, I don't know if that'll work. No, it worked beautiful. Like the math came out pretty close and as you saw, it just, when everything hits 6200 RPM, it's, it's like 2200 RPM faster than I thought it would be. But I've actually broke um, the, uh, what do you call it, the sprocket. I actually had it crack where the key was and it spun and I had to replace the whole, uh, shaft in there and put a new key and I actually double keyed it I cut a second keyway and then put two keys and I have not had that problem since and I did the same thing to the clutch just to make sure so the second problem I've had tons is I'm shearing all the bolts off they just literally turn and it shears the freaking bolts right off so I have the titanium ones in right now. So far it's been holding. It goes straight through the hub and they're uh, bolted up. So not bad, that's been working. They're actually put in, tapped, and then lock nut. So I don't know, I'm kind of scared to put a smaller uh, sprocket because it'll just, I don't know. And the other thing I'm having trouble with is it will take off. It'll literally spin the tire on the rim and share the damn valve. I've, I've had that like three times now happen. I had uh, oh the anti-flat ones with the uh, slime in it. I actually just started putting standard ones in it because I was getting tired of losing them all. So all in all, this has been an amazing build. I'm just, it keeps breaking parts because it's just so much freaking torque. Um, these are 11 gauge spokes and I've actually broke six of those. <laughs> so you guys saw me make those and uh, I'm so glad I did the uh, ball bearings in those for bearing sets because that nine ball would have snapped so many shafts by now. And those are upgraded uh, shafts on there too and everything for that. But, uh, I don't know. All in all, this has been fun. I'm not really enjoying this build. Uh, it's not so much, like, figuring it out and all that. And it is awesome. It's just, I'm getting tired of fixing the rear. And I'm getting tired of, uh... <laughs> I, it's just, I'm constantly breaking, breaking shit in the rear on this. But... I may take one more video, and I'm getting tired of the clutch stuff, because I got green pads in it, and it'll literally, if you give it gas and drop the clutch, it'll spin it. It doesn't even grab. It will just spin the clutch, so, and, and smoke it. So you actually gotta idle, <laughs> drop the clutch, let it start going, and then give it gas. I mean, that's how much freaking torque this thing has. It's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to actually put this on a go-kart. 
I'm going to just put it on a go-kart. I'm going to get like a, I don't know, like a 36 tooth, chain it up to a go-kart, like a straight live axle, and see what the hell it'll do, because this is an absolute freaking monster for torque. I, I don't know, it's way overpowered. <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted you guys to see that. I'm probably going to do another video shortly. They're going to just like smoke the back freaking wheel out. Just sit on it and pepper the gas till it just goes, I guess, or something, just for fun. But I think after that, I'm going to kill it. And I'll probably do that dual cylinder uh, MS-460. We'll get that going, play with that some. And I got a couple other weird builds, but this one, it's definitely a weird build. I think it's going to be either a go-kart or a shelf cool looking thing I don't know add it to the collection it, it's really neat though but anyways all right so that's the update on it we'll get a video probably sometime shortly smoking the crap out of that back tire for fun and then we'll move on to the next one but all right peace